What's up, 83 Crew? Pilot 83 here with our Friday weekly update on DC Designs AV8B Harrier 2. Also, Phantom, as he's working on both at the same time. This update is for the Harrier. So, Dean says Friday news updates. All images are work in progress. They were taken within my 3D software, not the sim. He says, hi everyone, a fairly small update this week as work is commencing on the Harrier's virtual cockpit. It's early days, so there's not much new stuff to show yet. I've been building a very basic shapes of the instruments, screens, etc. Getting the scaling correct so that more detail can be added once I'm happy with the general layout. The Harrier has a very busy cockpit and is quite cramped, but with the big canopy visibility is actually quite decent in virtual reality. That will probably help the user when it comes to flying the aircraft and of course landing it vertically. Work is progressing well and yesterday I had my first online meeting with a new friend, a retired United States Marine Corps FA-18C and AV-8B pilot instructor and test pilot who has already provided all sorts of wonderful information about how the Harrier was operated and advice on features that we might be able to include with the product when it launches. Those of you enjoying the recent F-14 Tomcat updates were reporting some odd bugs during the week. The calls was pinned down to a carrier mod from FlightSim.to, which messes with the Tomcat's new up-to-date settings. The, the developer of the mod is aware of the issue and is likely to update their mod soon. If you have been having problems, simply remove the mod and the Tomcats will be fine again. I did notice a small error of mine. The fuel tanks no longer disappear when the tanks are manually emptied. This has already been fixed here and the airplane will be updated again in a few weeks time. I like to let SU-10 roll through and see what else needs fixing in its wake. The last thing, and this guys is uh, awesome, so it says there's one last thing to note, the F-14 Tomcats. After many requests, I will be adding the F-14 Delta Tomcat to the package. The F-14 Delta will have revised cockpit avionics of the D model, new ejection seats, etc. There's no date on when it will be added, but it's a thing on my list to further enhance the package. Finally, Codename Jack identified a lift forcing bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, in the flight model that causes wild acceleration under certain circumstances in high speed aircraft such as fighter jets. Asobo have replicated and acknowledged the bug, the fix for which will be included with SU 11, further refining the high G. Uh, regimen of the flight model on all aircraft without any changes required from the respective developers hopefully that's it for now happy friday and uh we we got just just two pictures today of what's currently being done these are very very early stages of what he's doing so we can't really tell what it's going to look like but i am highly excited for when this plane releases this is one of my favorite planes I have sat in one of one of these uh, retired ones in the Air Museum, and I'll tell you what, he is right. It is very cramped, but most fighter jets are. But uh, that is all for this Friday's update from DC Designs, guys. As always, I am Pilot83. Thank you all for y'all's continued support of the channel as we are almost at 4K. Come join the Discord and come hang out with me and the team. Follow us at all our social media outlets, guys. And if you want to come help the channel, feel free to donate to the channel at uh, the link below. Or better yet buy some merch help me help you get something cool in return Rem remember guys united we fly see y'all out there in the skies peace what's up guys pilot 83 here thank y'all so much for watching another one of my videos if you like the video don't forget to like subscribe and share and as always y'all remember united we fly see y'all in the air out there peace